following is an update and technical analysis on gold futures based upon the daily interval where we had some key FOMC members update more hawkish a stance with Chairman Jerome Powell expressing uncertainty about rates slowing inflation where the shift boosted the 10-year U.S. bond yield supporting the dollar and pressuring non-yielding gold here. Meanwhile, despite claims of calm, the Israel conflict appears to be only intensifying and here we are, rejected amongst this first 2010-69 price resistance where we had that first initial tag and were rejected impulsively, especially if you're an active and or day trader. That was great for a, a single a big move to the downside, reflecting off the 236 fibs retracement. I ended up having an additional retest. And again, if you're an active and or day trader, really to the button there, we're again, rejected impulsively two more days in a row there, put in a nice clean a primary uptrend line bear off this bearish rising wedge pattern, put in a nice clean divergent high had a negative stochastics divergences back tested had a nice clean especially a nice snapback counter trend rally again if you're an active and or day trader right back into the resistance offering a great risk reward ratio short trade setup to the downside broke down completely took out the 236 fibs and here we are selling off on a complete offering a great risk reward short trade setup to the downside off that key resistance level and that was good for a three and a half percent crash to the downside and we are testing the 50 day moving average honing in on to a very a major key inflection point the primary downtrend line based upon the April, late April reactionary highs here, and that will be the most significant juncture uh, gold, the price of spot price of gold has come across in quite some time here. We have the 50 day moving average hovering in and up above. So you could begin the scaling in process for a long trade setup on a potential move to the upside on a rechallenging of the 236 fibs resistance and the additional a 2010 69 price support. That is the line in the sand, in my opinion, if and when we go on to retest that key inflection point. We needed to see a solid daily candle close breakout above uh, to issue uh, not only a rechallenging of that divergent, those negative divergences, but a big, larger short squeeze setup move to the upside, rechallenging the all time highs of gold up around that 20, 20, 70, 20, 20, 80 range. And here was the difference. The big difference in the false breakdown was off this primary concealed reactionary uptrend line. That was the most significant where we caught this huge, short, nice, clean daily sell signal. And it was met with a just fury of selling to the downside, bouncing off the 182609 price support really to the button there, put in a nice concealed hidden divergent low positive divergences on all four technical momentum indicators. And it was off to the races, complete snapback counter trend rally broke out of this range, completely took out the primary downtrend line. And here we are about to retest that key inflection point. I am giving you a significant level where the high probability of short covering could take place right amongst multiple moving average support levels and the primary downtrend line and then you additionally have even bigger price support amongst the 382 fibs retracement call it 191059 price support cuts through a series of wicks and reactionary lows just a plethora of reaction right across that entire sphere there that will be the ultimate inflection point if and when we go on to have an undercut potential undercut of the primary downtrend line and a fake out false breakdown bear trap on a prolonged move to the upside make no mistake about it the risk reward ratio lies heavily to the long side as of now where it's a short Short traders, bear traders are looking to cover their position and gain, uh, take some profit off the table, especially when you have the moving average convergence and a complete crossover on a bearish, confirmed bearish crossover going on to retest at zero line thresholds, as well as the oscillator here with a stochastics that's basically collapsed around that key inflection point. So it's just a little bit, little uh, price support inflection point here on the technical momentum indicator dimensions. And that would offer, again, uh, multi uh, price support levels within the momentum indicators and the action of the price action of price of spot price on gold there would offer a great risk reward long trade setup move to the upside where we could potentially witness a fury of short covering. As far as the bearish case scenario, uh, short sellers, bear traders, they want to see a solid daily candle close right down below, uh, taking out, undercutting the primary reactionary downtrend line and the 382 fibs retracement uh, on a prolonged sell-off on a retest of the 1865.99 price support. And that will be a false breakout. This was a well-defined breakout on the daily here. Uh, and if we go on to retest and back test and take that level out, you're going to trap in a lot of long traders there on a prolonged bigger move to the downside. And there's nothing more bearish than a false breakout.